Hello and welcome to a new RTC Draft tutorial. How to set up an RTC Draft multi-user server. You need the client and the server, which you can both download directly from the website. Ideally, the server is installed on a machine that will not be turned off, and to that all project team members have access. Administration can be done from a workstation. There is no need to install a client on the server PC. After installing the server, you can check if the server is running by opening the Windows Task Manager and switch to the Services tab. There it is, RTC Server. Now we start the client, multi-user version and log in. First is the selection of the server. It's the name of the machine we installed the server software to. If you don't know the name of your PC, click the Windows symbol and choose Settings, then System. In the About tab, the PC name appears right at the top. The PC name equals the server name. The port is 16707. A firewall exception rule was created as part of the server installation. Now click Connect. First, we need to do a couple of things on the administration side. Therefore, we log in with user and password server admin. One word, capital S and A. The username can't be changed, but you can and should change the password after logging in. This can be done easily by choosing Change Password Profile from the bubble menu. In the administration mode, we can check the license status, get an overview of all project, or create and manage users. The Server Information tab shows quantity and type of client licenses and lets you enter a license key if you haven't already done so when installing the server. There are three types of client licenses Viewer, Multi User, and Floating Multi User. With a viewer, you don't have any writing rights to project, it is only to, surprise, view them. A multi user license allows you to create and modify projects. A floating license can be assigned to multiple users, who then have full access to the project, but only one user at a time. The Projects tab lists all created or imported projects of the server. When you deactivate a project, it will no longer be selectable on the startup screen. Projects can be deleted as well, but beware, as they cannot be restored once deleted. In most cases, it might be safer to just deactivate a project. You can also assign users to existing projects by clicking the Project Stuff button. Creating a project is not handled in the server administration but within the client. But before we can create a project, we need to create some or at least one user first. The user management is independent from project management, that is why we find it here in the server administration. When creating a new user, you must at least set name and password. New users are not automatically informed about their account, even if you include an email. This you need to do manually. Ideally, you provide users with the server name and their login credentials. Here you can also assign a license to a user. Without a license, a user cannot create or open a project. User licenses can always be reassigned. A license is not locked to a user permanently. Basically, the job of the admin is done here, and we can leave the administration mode. Now we can log on with the user. Enter the server details. Remember, it's the name of the PC the server is installed on with the port 16707. Now enter the user credentials and click login. This is the project selection page. Here we can open a project, create a new project or import an existing one. We want to start with a project from scratch. Therefore, we choose Create New Project. Name and Project Folder are mandatory entries on the General Project Information page. Detail Name and Cover Image are optional. Next is Source Control. We will be using the internal RTC subversion. It's easiest to set up and maintain. If you are planning to use Pairforce or your own subversion, you need to enter the required information. For the RTC subversion, all we need to enter is a repository path. Now we can click Finish to create and open the project. We are almost done. All we need to do now is to assign more users to the project. Select Edit Users and Project from the bubble menu. 
Here an admin can add or remove users from the current project. After adding a user, you can set their rights level. The available levels are guest, team member and admin. Guests have read-only access to the project. Users with a viewer license can only have guest level for the project. Team members have standard access. They can read and modify project data. Admins have team member rights plus some special project admin rights. They can restructure the project and manage the project staff. The creator of the project automatically gets admin rights. That's basically it. Everyone assigned to the project can now log on to it with the server name and their credentials and start working according to their client license and project rights level.